Yo, what's going on, everyone? Uh, we're back with some more Rick and Morty. Past episodes haven't been the best. And personally, I'm not in the greatest of moods. So I really hope this is not a bad one. Um, so let's just get on with it. Rick and Morty, Season 7, Episode 9. Mort, Ragnarok. Collective projection. Great, okay. Glad you could learn that by murdering me. I'll pretend I know what that yeah, all is. <laughs> okay, so we're back here. Hit that big red button to battle against a mighty enemy. That's why I got Bigfoot in this Pokemon. Hey, Pokemon. Daddy's a fan. I stuffed him into a. After Morty, Bigfoot is a B story. The A story is he kills me and you hit the button. Got it? Got it? Uh. That's so horrifying. You have to just witness Rick dying. Yeah. Oh, are we redoing this? We're going back into different reincarnation places. <laughs> what? Why does Rick have his hands behind his back? This feels like if Morty was to go on an adventure like this. Like the tone that he has. Or the approach. Is that Thor's hammer? I find it funny how they like Vikings love? They always like shit on Marvel and stuff, but now they're just using <laughs> them in the episode and the title and stuff. Uh, That's messed up. Me too. No! That Easy, that guy. Easy. Or you're gonna die. Oh. And the door's open. Mmm. Does Marty have the protocol too? Oh my god. Never sympathize with religious people. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm kidding. Don't, uh, don't listen to me. Whoa, Marty. Bring your body. He does that. Morty, any big idiot can pretend to believe in the afterlife. That's why we're dealing with these fucking guys. <laughs> Norwegian big enemies. A man. Why are they Italian? We can't kill. We can't command them. Bricks kind of showing his stubbornness as usual, but it's more like they need to be practical with this. Oh, and did they get reset to, as well? That is hilarious. <laughs> the devil is <laughs> the bad big Bigfoot this so sympathetic character. <laughs> He's villainizing Rick. They got the ape, they got the churro. <laughs> Summer, what? Oh, feet. So small. Why is he in a clone of Summer? Statistically. Uh. <laughs> Hold on. They're most likely. So many portal guns. Oh. Bro, what? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I just keep resetting this. <laughs> He's... I gotta admit, Morty, I didn't really fight that time. I wanted to make sure this worked. <laughs> What the heck? Oh, <laughs> He's gonna capture the foam, that's so ridiculous. Oh, I did that the sound and the ball movement, I love it. Alright, I'm just being weird. Stop making this so hard for us. Come on! Why can't you go back where you came from? They're gonna get emotional. Nah, I'm already I was hoping I could I could get a job and go on! <laughs> that is true, man. Why do people throw stuff? They're so rude. <laughs> they want to like dehumanize them so that they don't get hurt. <laughs> the funky ball battle. This is amazing. This guy apparently. No, what? Rick is the Pope now. <laughs> oh man, goes back to the more comical and familiar, which was, I think, just much needed. And yeah, this episode involves clones, involves that whole program uh, revival thing. And 
there's messing with Bigfoot. And I think sometimes these concepts don't really work or they're hit and miss when they bring like real life scenarios or folklore. But it actually turned out pretty good and they actually made Bigfoot kind of compelling in a way. Uh, it felt like if they elaborated on Jaguar from Pickle Rick or if they made that more into a serious longer running uh, plot. And then yeah, just the whole thing of repeating and the whole loop of the infinite power source then the Vikings and then dying and then going back there and then <laughs> fighting the Pope. Uh, there was nice references to like the Pokemon. A little bit of a weaker episode, but it's a much needed one. And it's one that kind of, kind of gives old feelings of the way that they just kind of go crazy with their sci-fi plots and their adventures. So it feels good. Though I think maybe I was a little confused about the Jerry stuff in the beginning. I am entertained. I'm satisfied. And I just hope the finale can kind of recover or kind of bounce back from what's been a interesting season. Uh, well, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you when I see you.